The news came as no surprise. President Alberto Fernández announced on Friday that he won't run for re-election in October this year. Fernández revealed the news on his social media, where he published a seven-minute video explaining his struggles as president of Argentina and why he'd made the decision. On December 10th, 2023, on the same day in which we celebrate 40 years of democracy, I will give the presidential ban to whoever has been elected by the popular vote. I will work so that this is someone from our political space. Alberto Fernández came to power in 2019. He was handpicked by one of the most powerful politicians in the country, former President Cristina Fernández de Kirchner. Cristina, as people call her, needed a moderate candidate to run as president with her as vice president. But since taking office, the Peronist coalition did not work out, with enormous differences surfacing between the president and vice president on how to run the country. Now many are wondering who the Peronist candidate will be in the presidential elections. Cristina is allowing everyone to talk until she comes out and defines things the way she wants to. There is no real discussion. Cristina will define the strategy. She will define who will be the candidate. The 65% of the country that wants to vote against Cristina is still trying to find a candidate that is strong enough and that will be able to solve the economic troubles that exist. Whomever wins the elections won't have an easy job. The announcement by President Alberto Fernández happens just as this country is in the middle of an economic crisis with over 100% inflation in the past year, with capital controls where the government sets an official exchange rate, but the unofficial exchange rate is going up every day. We're here on the streets where several shops are, for example, setting the different prices of the US dollars and it keeps on changing all the time. This is just an example of how unstable the economy in the country is right now. The pandemic, the war in Ukraine and an unprecedented drought have complicated Argentina's endemic economic troubles. The economic malaise is felt on the street. Romina Alani says the only thing she wants right now is stability. We are selling what we can, but with inflation, it is too difficult. I only hope that whomever comes after Alberto Fernandez will do a better job. Alberto Fernandez still has some difficult months ahead. Many fear that the government's lack of credibility may worsen the economic situation and the lives of the millions of people who once voted for him. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.